I did my first distro hop as a Linux YouTuber. I went from Linux Mint to Pop! OS and love it so far. Hey guys, happy belated new year. It's been a bit since I posted a video and I have a few decent sized updates for you regarding my Linux journey and things that relate to this channel. This is gonna be another just talking to the camera video and I will create some cutaways on my screen later whenever I do a screen record and talking at the same time. Those tend to be super, super long and all my videos are long to begin with. So anything I can do to minimize it helps. As you can tell with the title, the big news of the day is that I did my first distro hop since starting this channel. So that distro hop is piece of news number one. Now I'll do a little bit of backstory in a second, but the second piece of news that relates to all this is that I've switched from that little camera -y mini PC I started the channel with to a Lenovo desktop PC. And I'll talk about it in a minute because the, the model number is escaping me at the moment, but it's a low profile Lenovo desktop that was in an office somewhere and I found pretty much for nothing online uh, locally and did a simple trade for it and now I've been using that as my daily driver on my desk. So with that came the need to change some things up. But before I talk about the computer specifically and the new version of Linux I'm using, let me just give some new viewers a bit of background. So I was a long time Mac user, 20 some plus years uh, of using Macs. I helped run computer labs in college that were Macs. I, I worked at the Apple store. I been a professional video for a very long time, video editor for a very long time and using Macs the majority of that time. So I have a long history of using Macs, desktops, laptops, the whole deal. But I've been a Linux dabbler. I installed one or two Linux distros in the late 90s, early 2000s, like Mandrake, and maybe one other one other that I can't remember. But I never really got them to a point where they worked for me in a creative workflow consistently. I would use the GIMP and Blender and stuff here and there. But I abandoned it at some point until I revisited Linux with this channel in 2024. And when I jumped back into Linux, I installed Linux Mint and used that for the rest of 2024. So it was about eight, nine months I was using, using Linux Mint and really loved it. So if I loved Linux Mint, then why the reason for the distro hop? Because I got this Lenovo desktop PC and it's a low profile, it was very limited in the dedicated video cards that I could put inside it, which is one of the biggest things I wanted to do with a slightly larger PC. So I found the best card that would fit the dimensions. Not only was it low profile, but it the, the space inside that it had available for the card itself was very short. So I had two limitations to work with. I need a low profile card and a card that fit to a certain length. So I found an NVIDIA card that fit that dimensions and installed it. So I needed to find, I needed to create a workflow that allowed me to utilize that NVIDIA card. And when I tried to install that card and install the proper drivers to utilize it on Linux Mint, I just could not get it to work. I tried seemingly everything. Now, obviously people do this and get it to work. So obviously I didn't try everything, but I tried so much that it became more of a burden to keep trying all these things when I, th I had a feeling that if I started fresh with a different distribution uh, of Linux, then maybe I could just get it to work right off the bat. And that's what I did. And the distro I choose to try this was Pop! OS. As many of you know, Pop! OS is the Linux distro from System76, which also sells laptops and desktop computers with pre-installed Linux on them. But why Pop! OS when there's a lot of great choices out there? I wasn't super picky. It wasn't really about not liking anything else. One, a couple of the big reasons I tried, I, I wanted to try Pop! OS in this instance was that I wanted to stay, stay in the Debian family since Linux Mint is in the Debian stream. Also, I knew that Pop! OS had an ISO that had a friendly install of the NVIDIA drivers as you do the initial install. So it had an NVIDIA specific ISO 
install, which to me, that was a godsend at that moment when I was having frustrations trying to get my car to work on Linux Mint. So for those reasons, I tried Pop! OS. For the most part, Linux is Linux is Linux, right? Uh, each distribution has a different package manager, and there are some differences there. Some will tweak GNOME a little differently. Some will tweak KDE a little differently. Some will ship with other uh, desktop environments or none at all if you are starting with Arch and building your own system. That being said, here are a few of the things that I found early on that I really liked about Pop! OS. The first one, like I said, it was easy to install not only the operating system, but the drivers for the NVIDIA card. It really was pretty seamless, and I'm super thankful because I'm still learning how to troubleshoot a lot of this stuff. So anything that helps me just get up and running and working, I'm good with. Other things I like about it is that it still feels GNOME-like. It's still GNOME. It's still GNOME. You can still tell it's GNOME. I know that it's it's Cos the Cosmic Desktop, and there and and eventually Cosmic Desktop is going <coughs> the Cosmic Desktop is going to be its own thing. But as what my install is right now, it's still GNOME, and you can still feel the GNOME there. Not only that, but I can still tweak it using some of the GNOME extensions. So that's what I've done. Started with the, the, the stock Pop! OS and have tweaked it a little bit with some extensions. So Pop! OS has a really good polish on its user interface. Everything from the design to the usability. It's really well thought out and I appreciate that. One thing I really love about Pop! OS and the user interface and the whole user experience in general is the launcher. Now on Linux Mint, I set up Rofi to work as best as I could to match Alfred on Mac. Just the workflow that I like to use. One key or two key shortcut to launch it and find an app, maybe find a file, stuff like that. And with Pop! OS, the built-in launcher works really, really similar to the way Alfred worked on my Mac. So I haven't actually needed to install Rofi on this yet. I'm not sure I will because I'm still learning all the little tricks of the built-in launcher, and so far it's really powerful. I wanted to create a list of positives and negatives of Pop! OS. Well, one, I'm still really new to it, less than a month or about a month into it. Two, I can't really pick out a lot of negatives because just like with anything else, when you're reviewing something that's new, some things that feel like they're negatives, sometimes are just the new parts of it that feel uncomfortable or that make you feel lost or whatever. And that's true here. The only negative I could really think of initially was that the file explorer, Nautilus, or their version of Nautilus, is still new to me. Not on Linux Mint, they use Nemo, and I fell in love with that one. And it's super powerful, and you can do a lot with it. So Nautilus isn't Nemo, and that was my biggest negative. But that's okay, because Nautilus is super powerful. There's a lot you can do with it. I just have to learn the design, learn the little keyboard shortcuts, and all the little tricks that you can do. And I'm still learning. So that was a bigger negative when I first started out with Pop! OS, and is much less of a negative now. I feel like I'm pretty close to feeling pretty fluid with Nautilus, so it's really not a big deal. I don't want to make this a Linux distro hop, hopping channel uh, because there's plenty of great channels out there that that are a great resource for that. They and because and, I'm not knocking that at all. I think we we need people testing these things out and letting us know how they are, and it's good for you to experiment as much as you can. And I have a little bit, but I need a production machine, and I want to edit video and photos and music and all this stuff. Create these videos. So I need something, I need to be up and running since I don't have, right now I don't have a, an A, B machine type situation. So that's why Pop! OS was, came in uh, to save to save the day for me. But it, it's, it's not a consolation because it's a great, great OS and I was excited to use it even before I, I made this switch. I was hoping someday I could try a System76 PC, but this is a great start in the meantime. Now, like I said, I, I the, the switch to Pop! OS was fueled by this new or new used uh, desktop PC from Lenovo. I went from using an AMD, uh, basically an AMD laptop 
a processor. You know, the, the those mini PCs are like laptop components in a, in a, in a mini PC box. So I went from using an AMD with a uh, APU to an Intel i5 12th generation with a dedicated video card, uh, a dedicated NVIDIA video card. This i5 has an integrated GPU as well. So I have both. I have the integrated GPU and I have the dedicated NVIDIA GPU that I installed. Now this NVIDIA GPU is not a monster. It's a GeForce GT 1030, but it's going to get the job done for me right now because one of the big things it does, well, first it gives me a dedicated GPU. Secondly, since it is NVIDIA and the driver is installed and it recognized it, I got to resolve, I got resolved to install. Now I haven't really utilized resolve yet in a, with a project from start to finish on this system. That's what these videos are for. I'm kicking the tires on everything with this. I'm kicking the tires on the computer, on the GPU, and on Resolve running on this system. So this is fantastic because now I can run all the Linux video editing systems that I want to try out on this channel. Lightworks and Caden Live are still going to be in my workflow. But now I can add Resolve and I can rotate between all these and add those other video editors that I've talked about that I need to test out and do reviews for you guys and some tips on all of them so you guys can get an idea of what might work for you. If you're like me, then you're going to have to probably choose the right software that fits the system that you have because some of these things run smoother than others depending on the footage you have, the computer you have, and, and your workflow. But I'm happy to have Resolve on this system again. I have a studio license because I've had that studio license for like five or six years. Um, so now I have it installed on my MacBook Air for my mobile system right now, still MacBook Air, and then my desktop, which is this i5 with the NVIDIA GeForce 1030 running Resolve and all the other software that you guys have seen me run before. In general, that's the big news I wanted to give you guys is that I did my first distro hop as a Linux YouTuber. I went from Linux Mint to Pop! OS and love it so far. I am uh, on the Intel i5 train right now, 12th gen. So we're gonna see how far we can push this little system and see what I can do with Resolve on it and see what else I can do. The new Caden Live updates look really, really exciting. So I'm excited to kick the tire on the new, new Caden Live stuff. So maybe soon I'll make some tips on some of these pieces of software, but I also want continued input from you guys and what you want to see from me. One side note, if you've stayed this far on the in the video, is that I'm going to try a sponsor on this channel. I've debated this off and on for a while, but I want to be able to, my goal for this, my long-term goal would be able to uh, make a living creating for this channel, for the creating the zines, creating everything revolving around this and my photography. So sponsorships might help get me there someday. So I'm going to just test the waters with one, but not just anyone. One approached me that I feel is a good fit and a, a sincere fit. And so I hope you guys will allow me to experiment with that and understand the reasoning behind that but you'll see that soon other than that i hope you guys are doing well i hope you guys had a good holiday and new year and please give me feedback on what you guys want to see from this channel and i'll talk to you guys soon thank you